Jay, you coming off a home series against Florida Gulf Coast and then going, getting right back at it against East Tennessee State. This weekend, as it's a ball and a strike on Sandstone, that East Tennessee State series actually starts Thursday for JU. It's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday series. They worked it around the Easter holiday on Sunday. Part of the reason why you may not uh, extend guys here today, though, with a conference series coming up. Dolphins coached by Tim Montez. He is their pitching coach as well and was on the staff for a number of years nice before pitch. assuming the Woo! top post as Sansone mm -hmm. goes down on strikes. And that's seven up and seven down now, and he was frozen too. Beautiful, Bob. On your front knee, it breaks that over the plate right there. Not always throwing it away. There's sometimes they start it at you, and it breaks over the plate. As Deluzio comes up, one out. Montez had been the JU Dolphins associate head coach since 2007, but with Terry Alexander moved on, former Seminole and longtime JU coach. Montez moves to the top position. I think Alexander is coaching in the Pirates organization, if I'm not mistaken. Ball and a strike here to Deluzio, 292 average for the freshman. Just to finish the story on Montez, though, before coming to JU, had been a pitching coach primarily out west, Fresno State, Cal State, Northridge, UC Santa Barbara, Woo! Pepperdine. Pepperdine, yeah. Also Arkansas. Good recruiter and a respected pitching coach across college baseball. 1-2 to Florida State's freshman center fielder. He reaches out and lifts this to uh, right field, but it'll hang in the air where Babb makes the catch. Brings up Danny De La Calle. So there's quickly two down here in the Seminole third. This wind keeps blowing in hard from left field, left to right. And it's one of those nights where you don't want to try to hit the ball in the air, especially try to pull it, because that wind's going to hold it up. That ball right there, Dele, uh, with Delusia going to right field, had a little sink on it. Michael Babb did a good job of coming to get it. Lawrence on the hill making his 10th appearance. They've all been in relief. Had a couple of uh, hitless innings against Bethune-Cookman a week ago, which was his last outing. And as I say that, De La Calle gets the first base hit of the game for the Seminoles. Two out single turns it over, or turns the order over, I should say, as Josh Delph will come back up. Right fielder, Josh Delph. No middle plate down right there. Della Calle would like to extend those arms. Cripps single the left field. Now Delph fell into an 0 2 hole quickly against Zach Gordon. Nice pitch. And take strike one here. De La Calle at first peering into the dugout. He's not a threat to steal. As the 0-1 offering will be a bunt by Delph. Pretty good one. And the pitcher swallows the baseball. I think he might have been better served to have Scott Schaub give that a go, but that's a base hit for Delph. And Runners at first and second now. Good bunt for Delph. Shortstop, Justin Gonzalez. Time you drop that bunt right there, kept the barrel up, dropped the ball, got it on the ground. You could not go out and place that ball any better. If he throws that ball and throws away, run easily, scores it with Delacalle rounding second base. Come on, Jay, get out of this. So now Gonzo, as Florida State looks to grab a lead, two out hit will get him there.
Big swing from Justin Gonzalez, but strike one. That wind is really blowing in from left and across left to right. As a coach, I didn't like to move outfielders because of the wind, because sometimes that wind quits blowing, but you gotta respect it tonight. It is howling in from left field. Nice Strike two to Gonzo now. Right like here, Bell buddy. told me, but we watched a little bit coming right back here, from buddy. Georgia Tech, Oklahoma game on TV on the bus, and the wind was blowing it. I was assistant coach. I used to carry a compass on my back.